Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. For today's topic na naman is interview questions. Kung ano yung mga interview questions na na-experience ko, well, my application here in the U.S. Guys, tatlong, tatlo lang yan. It's either behavioral questions, um, knowledge questions, or situational questions. Kung sa akin, ang pinakamahirap is behavioral questions. Kasi nga, um, depende, ano ba. Kasi sa akin, pag knowledge questions, pag alam mo na yung gamot, paano mo i-manage yung disease, or yung pasyente, okay na yun, pasok na yun. Kasi nga, international standard naman yung mga ganun. Kunwari, pag uh, may patient ka nag-MI, anong gagawin mo? So, natutunan mo na yun sa experience mo. Yung behavioral questions naman is, para sa akin, ma ma mahirap siya. Kasi, hindi mo alam kung yung nag interview sa'yo, kung same ba kayo ng mindset na ganun ba dapat i-handle yung case or hindi. So, yeah. So, before ako pumunta sa mga interviews ko, guys, is nag-research na ako ng mga possible questions. Kasi, hindi naman, mahilig ako mag-research. So, uh, mga behavioral questions, guys. Uh, other than behavioral questions, of course, lahat naman ng interview, magtatanong sila, tell me about yourself, yung mga ganun. So, i-ready nyo na yung mga answer nyo doon. And then, um, are you the right person for this job? So, behavioral questions, guys. Example is, how do you handle difficult or combative patient? Tapos, meron din na, uh, what you will do if yung co-worker mo is hindi nagtatrabaho or hindi mabilis or mabagal, anong gagawin mo? Then, um, and how do you handle stress? Tatanungin ka nila yan. Tatanungin ka din nila ko, uh, ano yung personality mo? Introvert ka ba or extrovert? Then, um, what do you consider the most important qualities for this job? And then, so, mag-prepare na ka yan. What is your weakness? And what is your strength? Yan, behavioral questions yan, guys. Um, why do you choose your specialty area of nursing? Why ER? Yan, so, i-ready nyo na yung mga ganong mga answers, guys. Tapos, um, normally, tatanungan ka nila, bakit mo gusto magtrabaho sa hospital nila? So, mag-research na kayo oh, ahead, bakit nyo gusto magtrabaho sa hospital nila? I-research nyo yung mga accomplishment ng hospital, trauma center ba sila, stroke center, yung mga ganun, and you wanna be part of that institution, or you wanna be part of that company, mga ganun. Tatanungin ka din nila, guys, why did you left your last job? Katulad nga nung na-explain ko sa last video ko, tatanong, uh, tinanong nila ako, bakit ako umalis sa Dubai? Bakit ako lumipat? Bakit ako nag sa Pilipinas at pumunta sa ibang bansa? I-check nila yung behavior mo. How do you stay current with your nursing profession? So, Ang sinabi ko dito na nag, yung nag-aattend ako ng mga trainings, yung mga required trainings, and seminars, yung mga ganun. Then, what are ways to avoid an injury at work? What are the biggest challenges facing nursing today? Yung mga ganun question, yung mga pang-missionators question, guys, pinatawang nila yan. Then, what is teamwork for you? What did you choose to be a nurse in the first place? Tapos ko na yun. Situational questions naman guys is, kunwari, um, sasabing nila sa'yo, uh, you're the charges of the ER and you receive four patients and those patients is from uh, EMT, the cases is like this, what you would do, how you handle it, mga ganang situation. Sila yung magbibigay ng situation tapos, check nila kung paano yung um, approach mo to handle those cases. So, mga approach mo how to handle those scenarios. So, yeah, just prepare some... Uh, situational questions nila. Like, 
na experience ko dati na uh, may parating na mass casualties, tumawag sila sa'yo, ikaw yung naka-answer. So, the phone is ringing now what you would do. So, yun ang mga example ng mga situational question. Gugulatin ka nila, pero huwag kang magpapagulat. Basta, focus ka lang kung... Uh, basta, ilagay mo lang yung sarili mo sa... Um, ilagay, mo lang, ilagay mo yung sarili mo sa situation na yun para makapag-focus ka. Kunwari, there's a patient come in the ER uh, with having a chest pain and it's talking to you what you would do. Yung mga ganun lang naman. So, kayang-kaya niyo yun. Knowledge question, para sa akin, pag nag-aral ka, okay, wala kang problema sa knowledge question kasi madali lang yun. Kasi ER yung mga interview ko. Uh, so, tinanong ako about stroke, about myocardial infarction. So, sinabi nila, um, so tell me about stroke. So, kailangan mo talagang i-discuss yung stroke. So, buti na lang guys, nag-aral ako ng about stroke. Kasi nga, nakapag-ACLS ako, alam ko yung stroke. So, sabi ko, um, you need to check if, um, you, need, you need to assess the patient when is the last, uh, the time of lasting normal. And you need to send the patient um, to CT scan uh, to check if it is ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke. Guys, hindi doon natapos. Sabi niya, okay, tell me about ischemic, how to, ha how to treat ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. So, buti na nga lang nakapag-aral ako. So, na nasabi ko doon na if it is hemorrhagic stroke, you need to page the neurosurgeon for the patient to have a shunt in the head. Uh, proceed, uh, shift the patient to the OT. And if it is ischemic stroke, you need to check the checklist. If patient is a uh, candidate for RTPA, if not, uh, for benolytics, no, ganong question guys. So, alam niyo na yan sa area niyo kung ano yung mga knowledge, uh, yung, ano, kung ano yung kailangan yung pag-aralan. So, that's all for interview questions. Kung meron kayong suggestions na kailangan kong gawa ng vlog or kailangan ko... So, that's all for today guys and thank you! Music